Horses are on the track for race seven at DuCoin. The Prado Dawn for Illinois bred three-year-old trotting Colts and Geldings. A purse of $35,000. Win, play, show, exact a wagering. No changes. Let's meet the starters. Number one, Fox Valley Gatsby, owned by Sam and Ellen Lilly's Lilly Racing Stable of Downers Grove, Jerry Graham of Salem, and J.D. Graham of Fairview Heights, trained by Leon Smith, the driver Ron Marsh. 1A, Notorious Buck. Races also for Jerry and J.D. Graham. Nelson Willis, the trainer, and Dale Heitman is the driver. The two is graphic artist, owned by Bill Wright of Morton, Illinois, Nancy and Jim Reynolds of Watsika, trained by Irvin Miller. Andy Miller is up. Number three is Abra, owned by Philip and Robert Rietveld of Crete and Bourbonnet, trained by Roger Welch, originally of Belvedere, now of Beecher, Illinois, Dave McGee in the bike. Number four, Guten by Mac, is owned by Brenda Watson and Kenny Collier of Fairfield, Kenny Collier the trainer, and Jeff, Illinois native Tim Tietrich is the driver. Number five, Drew's Wonder Boy is owned by Buddy and Clay Simpson of Fairfield, trained by Buddy Simpson, his son Clay Simpson in the bike. There we go. <laughs> Some cat calls for Clay. Clay Simpson in the bike for number five. And number six, $2 Tony is owned by Valerie Sutton of Moments, Illinois, trained by Doug Hamilton. And Port Elgin, Ontario's Doug Hamilton is the driver. The Pronto Dawn for Illinois bred three-year-old trotters. It pays $17,500 to win. They'll be at the post in six minutes. championship finals. They are at the post. The gate's rolling for the Prano Don race seven at DuCoin. And do we still have the Clay Simpson fan club in the grandstand? <laughs> All right. Clay did a good job with Drew's Wonder Boy coming home third at 21 to one in the state fair championship a couple of weeks ago. Here they come for race seven. They are off and trotting, and there goes Drew's Wonder Boy right out for the early lead, but Graphic Artist is there toward the inside, and Abra comes away trotting in third. Problems for $2 Tony, who's off stride at the entry to the first turn. Graphic Artist moves up and gets the lead by one length. Abra second by a half length. Drew's Wonder Boy is racing in third, and he's parked as they go toward the quarter. Guten by Mac is racing in the fourth position. And then Fox Valley Gatsby is fifth. The gap of five more lengths to Notorious Buck and a long way back to $2 Tony, who broke stride and is now the distant trailer. 29 seconds for the opening quarter. Graphic Artist leads at three parts of a length. Drew's Wonder Boy is still parked in the second position, followed by Abra, who's against the rail in third. And then Guten by Mac is fourth. Here comes Fox Valley Gatsby to the outside. He's moving up from fifth. He's four lengths off the lead. A gap of five more back to Notorious Buck and $2 Tony is last. They are halfway home, and Drew's Wonder Boy is going a tough trip. He's still parked. He leads at a half length. They got the half in 57 and 2. Graphic Artist is second by a length and a half. Abra, the State Fair runner-up from two weeks ago, is racing in third, still stalking the pace, and now comes off the rail, two lengths off the lead. Guten by Mac moves up to his inside, and then Fox Valley Gatsby, Notorious Buck, and $2 Tony still far back. They are at the three quarters. Graphic Artist leading Drew's Wonder Boy, who will have to fight tiredness, and here comes Abra. As they turn for home, Abra with a three-wide move now takes second. Guten by Mac needs room down toward the inside. He's moved up into third, three-quarters and 126 and three. Graphic Artist and Abra begin slugging it out for the lead. Guten by Mac has to change lanes to the far outside third. He's still two lengths away. Then Notorious Buck. Abra is up to get the lead in the final eighth mile, opening up by three lengths on Graphic Artist. Then Guten by Mac and Notorious Buck on the grandstand side. It's all Abra. Abra kicking clear. Notorious Buck goes to second. Second, Abra wins it by two lengths. Notorious Buck second, and Guten by Mac finished in third. 157 and one was the time for the one mile distance. Into the winner's circle, folks. How about a hand for the winner of the Pronto Don, number three, Abra, Dave McGee with the winning drive. Abra is a three-year-old son of Valley Victor, owned by Philip and Robert Rietveld of Crete and Bourbonnet, trained by Roger Welch, originally out of Belvedere, Illinois, bred by Jerry Graham of Salem. And the trophy presentation for the Prano Don about to be made by Amy Blagojevich, the first daughter of the state of Illinois, daughter of Governor Rod Blagojevich. 
And now she moves in to make her, I bet her first ever harness horse trophy presentation here at DeCoin in Victory Lane. I believe that young lady's mother is going to present the Philly World Trotting Derby trophy a little bit later on here today. Get a word with the winning connections next. The result is official, the 3-1 exact of $5.80. I want to say thanks also to Betsy Carter of Carmi, who serves again as our ringmaster here today at the DeCoin State Fair. And we're going to talk to our winning trainer, Roger Welch, who's on his way back up into the winner's circle. <laughs> Let's talk to Roger Welch. Roger, since we saw you and since we last saw Abra at the State Fair, Obviously, he hasn't raced. Has this colt kind of had uh, some chance for a little R&R &R since we saw him last time? Yeah, absolutely. He hits the pasture for about three hours every day, seven days a week, and we kind of rested him up and used this one for a prep for next week for the big race. Speaking of which, I know that that's been a, one of the best rivalries among state breads all year, Abra and Varsity Player, and uh, two very talented trotters. Varsity Player, we told the crowd he's waiting for Super Night, but I know this horse is too, and I bet you're anxious for the rematch. Absolutely. I was a little surprised that Varsity Player wasn't here. And, uh, you know, I was kind of looking forward to it because, I, you know, you love to race. You love to race, and it's a great race. A varsity player uh, really raced a big mile at Springfield, you know, and uh, I was looking forward to it here. I think that's uh, been a great rivalry. It's a lot of fun for those of us who grew up in Illinois. We always like to see those state breads uh, go at it head-to-head, -head, and we're looking forward to it, too. Roger, thanks for taking time to visit. Congratulations. Thank you. Roger Welch, folks, our winning trainer. More in a moment. <laughs> 